you know what I always say about that with with people like that? Then then if you if you are you and you're proud to be you, you're going to attract the people that are worth having around. If you're fake, if you're fake, and I'm not when I say fake, I'm not trying to use it as like a negative connotation because we all do it. But if you're fake, you're just attracting fake people. And, and I'm not trying to attack them either. I mean, they're just fake because they don't know exactly what's going on. They might be the greatest people in the world if you're straight up with them. And if you're not, if, if, if they're not, then next, like, you know, get, you know, yeah. free up some time for me, for people that actually like care about me for me, not like care about like me because I'm, I fit the same box as every other person in the world and every other mom in the world, you know? I, lo I always said, I always, uh, my thing when I got divorced, I always said that, that if you ever want to have a litmus test of real friends, get divorced. Because <laughs> it's true. Enough. Because when I, when I did, when I got divorced, I lost a few friends through my divorce and it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, yeah, at I the moment that. I was thinking like, what the hell is this shit? Now it's like, it's the greatest thing ever because the smaller your circle is, the the more you're going to enjoy your life and the more time you're going to have for you and the more time you're gonna be able to do what you want, the less people you're going to have to like impress and tend to and do, you know what I mean? And plus, you know, it's like a circle of trust. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's fire. That's so gold. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, it's, true. Yeah. And it's not like, and I'm not saying like when I say, <laughs> when I say that I'm not putting those people down, I'm not like saying like, well, they're assholes anyway. I'm just saying we weren't a fit to be genuine friends. You know what I mean? Oh my like, gosh. Yeah. Against me for making the decision to get a divorce. Then maybe I'm the bad guy in that equation. I don't know. I'm just saying we weren't a fit to be genuine friends. And it, and it ended up making me happier in the long run because I am, I am friends with, you know, um, I have my circle smaller, so I'm closer with my family now. You know, I see my mom and dad a lot more. Like I see my, I talk to my brother and sister a lot more, you know, I'm a lot happier in my relationship, obviously. Um, and then the friends that I do have or are genuine accepting friends who know everything about me, you know, they know everything about me. They know the mistakes that I've made in my life, but they've also known like all the good things I try to do like for people. Um, and that's that was that just turned into my theory and it served me well and i think anybody going through a divorce or custody dispute needs to look at it like that because because let's face it it can ha i mean it can happen to anybody so like for people to look down on the shit like it's like the stupidest thing on earth you know it's like they they look down on it till it happens to them <laughs>